All right, family, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about Reef Finance Explained. What is Reef Finance? What is Reef Crypto? What is the Reef Coin? So I actually didn't know anything about Reef Finance, but one of our fellow community members, one of our family, actually brought it to my attention and he wanted a review on it. And I took the chance to take a look at what Reef Finance really is. And what I discovered was that this is a very interesting project. And if it blows up, it's gonna change the game of how decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges work. The thing about this project, about refinance, is that it is really, really new, which means that it is also very, very high risk. So if you have very low risk tolerance, it's probably not going to be the investment for you. But if you want to know what their vision is, what they're all about, then I really encourage you to watch this entire video because I read the white paper so that you don't have to, so that you don't have to get all frustrated about the technical details because I took what they have and distilled it into this video so that it could save you some time. Honestly, guys, it was so technical when I first started reading that white paper actually i realized that if you didn't have a certain type of skill or knowledge and if you haven't really played around with markets and arbit bots and arbitrage then it's really hard to understand the most important thing is if you haven't already please be sure to smash the like button and smash the subscribe because it really helps these videos get the views that they really need so that people know what they're investing in all right so first things first let's talk about the problem that reef is trying to solve so as we know current centralized exchanges like coinbase and binance are isolated and they have a huge risk of actually being hacked that's why we never keep our crypto on centralized exchanges decentralized exchanges on the other hand have little liquidity and are difficult to use Guys, if you're using a decentralized exchange like Uniswap and you know how to use Coinbase Wallet or MetaMask, then you're a very smart early adopter. I firmly believe that the average Joe do not know how to use MetaMask and Coinbase Wallet and they are confused by this, which means that they are completely shut out from the decentralized exchange market. Problem with both the centralized exchanges and the decentralized exchanges are that they both have integration problems with the current DeFi ecosystem. Which means that we have large investors that get horrible yields when they invest in cryptos. And for the traders who are trying to arbitrage, that is buy low on one market and sell high in another market, they are not so profitable. The problem with arbitrage bots is that they are trying to buy low on sell high, right? But there's also a lot of competition right now trying to do the same thing in order to profit. And so it turns into a game of how much fees can you pay in order to arbitrage properly and stay profitable because if you pay too much fees it cuts into your return so people with the best algorithms can arbitrage properly but it is a very competitive market but these arbitrage brats really actually serve a really important purpose because as we know all the different exchanges have different prices so if you look at bitcoin at one exchange it's going to have a different price than bitcoin on another exchange so what these arbitrage bots do is they take these two exchange and buy low from one exchange and sell high on the other one so this keeps the prices of our cryptos in equilibrium amongst all the exchanges. So that's how that works. Currently, there's a bunch of bots that are trying to arbitrage the spread between exchanges. So that works right now, but still there's a big liquidity problem with decentralized exchanges. There's just not enough liquidity. And so Reef tries to solve that problem by connecting crypto asset buyers and sellers to liquidity pools in exchanges and the DeFi ecosystem. In addition to solve the yield problem, the horrible yield problems with investors, Reef provides a crypto asset management solution that is AI powered, which looks to maximize yields for investors. The solution that Reef gives for trading of assets is called the Global Liquidity Aggregator, which can access trading liquidity from both centralized and decentralized exchanges. Smart lending, borrowing, farming, staking, and mining via the AI-driven Reef Smart Yield farming aggregator would help maximize yield returns for investors. And this is kind of like a pitch for Polkadot because Reef is made on top of Polkadot. Because under Polkadot's shared security model, Reef can take advantage of Polkadot's high resilience and forkless upgradability. In addition, Reef is also a decentralized network that is governed by Reef holders by a decentralized autonomous organization for governance. So let's talk about the DeFi liquidity problem. First, we have to define liquidity. Liquidity is the ability to trade a large number of assets at any time without causing a big change in price, which is known as slippage. What happens in slippage is let's say you're a whale and you're buying 5,000 Bitcoin. Well, so you're buying 5,000 Bitcoin, but as you're buying the price of the Bitcoin that you're buying at the later half of the Bitcoins keep getting higher because you're raising the demand up. And that's basically because you should stop being a baller and buy them in little chunks when they are dipping. But what you would want is you would want them all, your 5,000 Bitcoin, 
at 50k and then after that they can rise after that so that's kind of like an example of liquidity problems but that's only because there's such a small supply of bitcoin try buying xrp 5000 xrp your price will probably not move at all now for any exchange to function well there has to be money that is flowing in and out of the exchange and a good supply of the money or tokens there needs to be balance between exchanges and when there's not then we have market makers usually bots to buy low in one exchange and sell high on the other exchange to keep everything balanced and in equilibrium and they make the profit from the spread the difference between the price in the two exchanges now here's the big problem the big problem is that with DeFi and cryptocurrencies growing so fast the current DeFi liquidity providers can't provide enough liquidity so some DeFi products actually have to go and access centralized liquidity sources in order to make things function and that's what exchanges and companies like BlockFi do they provide liquidity to these DeFi products that need liquidity so when you deposit your cryptos into BlockFi they give you an interest rate they give you a return back and it's pretty high but in return they take what you deposit it and lent it out as liquidity to these DeFi products that actually need liquidity and they charge them a higher interest rate than that so they collect on the spread as well this is all because of the problem that there is just not enough liquidity in certain decentralized exchange pools. So just a shout out, if you haven't joined BlockFi, check out my description below and use that link to sign up with BlockFi so you can collect some passive income from your cryptos. Now the current problem with centralized exchanges for a lot of these DeFi products is that centralized exchanges charges a high fee and they also lack security. But with decentralized exchanges, what they're facing is a liquidity problem and a large slippage. So it's like a catch 22, is it? Kind of? And then we have the DeFi fragmentation problem. So what we have right now are we have a lot of DeFi products and platforms, but they all have a high barrier to entry for those people who want to participate. Problem is that financial knowledge is needed, tech savviness is needed, and do you think that is all you need? No, sometimes you need an understanding of complex economic models, group psychology, and sentiment trends. So the problem is that there are a lot of DeFi products available, but there's no standard for interaction. So Reef is trying to attack this opportunity by consolidating the way of access and connecting all these fragmented platforms. There you go, guys. That's all the problems that Reef is trying to solve. And if you tried to read the white paper and had no idea what they were talking about, then please be sure to smash the subscribe button and the like button to this video. But let's talk about Reef's solution to all these problems. The first one is the global liquidity aggregator. And this DeFi liquidity aggregator will aggregate liquidity from the decentralized exchanges and the centralized exchanges, liquidity pools, and other sources into one big global liquidity pool that exchanges can draw from. So it is literally trying to become a monopoly, the one true source, like the one true god when we had multiple gods of Egyptian gods, Norse gods, pagan gods, Christian gods. I have seriously been watching way too much Vikings. Man, it's just six seasons of healthy male testosterone. Now, because Reef was built on Polkadot, that means that they make integration with other blockchains easy. And liquidity aggregation products actually protects users from market manipulations and front-running attacks. And as a passive incomer, you do not need to really worry about how front-running really works. It's more for people who are market making through arbitrage bots. And then we have the smart yield farming aggregator, which is Reef's DeFi yield engine, which extracts the opportunities that are available in DeFi. So basically this will allow grandma and grandpa and your fund managers or pension managers to access high yield opportunities in DeFi that they are shut out of because of the knowledge gap. So they're trying to be the one-stop shop for interest investments, basically with lending and borrowing, no need for explanation, staking for you because because staking thing like Polkadot is actually pretty complex. Liquidity farming and insurance coverage. And guys, let me tell you that this is going to be big because traditional investments cannot keep up with the way that the government is going around with our money. So let's say that pensioners need at least a 10% annual return in order to, for them to stay afloat. But what kind of traditional investments get you a 10% return consistently year after year? Not a lot. So a lot of pension managers are actually looking into Bitcoin because even though if they don't want to, that's the only way for them to make that 10% year after year in order to keep their clients, their pensioners safe from being Another thing about Reef is that they are non-custodial, which means that Reef is decentralized. The assets are controlled by the users and are not stored on the platform. So users keep their own private keys and their crypto. 
And this is gonna be the killer for a lot of platforms that are like BlockFi because for BlockFi, you store your cryptos right now on their platform, which is unsafe because if they get hacked, you're gonna lose everything. But with Reef, you can still keep your own keys. You can still keep it and control it yourself. So there's really not a big chance of you losing your cryptos in any way. Finally, they have something called Smart Asset Management and they didn't talk much about this, but it's apparently a UI that helps you diversify and maximize your investments and allow you to easily rebalance your DeFi investments in order to maximize your investments and profit with the lowest risk. How does the Reef token fit into this? Well, in order to power everything for you to rebalance your DeFi investments, for you to get access to the global liquidity pool, that's gonna cost you gas in a way. That's what we call it. So Reef token is that gas in order to power the entire operation. And as this platform gets more adopted, then it's only natural that the Reef token is gonna appreciate in price. So that's it, that's your entire explanation of the Reef token explained. My opinion on this, this project is really, really new and they have a crazy ambition, which I like, and I really hope to see this work out because it'll really help a lot of people. I connected my wallet and I took a look at the app, but it really looked fresh off the boat. It's a very, very new investment, so it's very, very high risk to me. I looked at the investors on Crunchbase and I didn't really Really know many of them. That is one big reason why I'm not confident enough to invest in Reef at this moment. But if this blows up, it's gonna be big. But at the same time, 90% of startups fail. So that's it guys. That's what is Reef Finance? What is Reef Crypto? That's your Reef Coin review. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.